Hello and welcome to Longview Public Library's video tutorial over Skype, one of the many free video chatting resources available. In order to access Skype, you can either download it on your phone, there's a Skype application, or you can use it on the computer like I'm doing right now. You would go to Skype.com and from there you can choose to download Skype. Or you can use the web-based version by clicking on chat now. From there, it's going to take you and ask you to sign in using your email address, phone number, or Skype username. If you don't have an account, it's easy to create one and it's free. So I already have an account. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Okay, so once you sign in, it's going to look something like this. So you're going to notice in the big screen here, you can update your status by telling your friends what you're up to, kind of like on Facebook, or you can click on the start a conversation button. You can also click on those little three buttons here on the left hand side menu and click on settings to change your settings, get help or sign out. It also has a nice search bar to search for people or groups or messages. Also has chatting feature, calls, um, contacts, and notifications. If you look in chats, it's going to show you your recent chats first, or you can click on the new chat button to start a new chat. If you click on the calls, you can look through your contacts and call one of your contacts, or you can click on new call to start a new call. Contacts button, you can click on new contact to add someone new or scroll down to see some of the people that are already there. I'm going to go back to the chats feature. From here, you can click on new chat. You can do a group chat, a private conversation, or just a new general chat. I'm going to select my only contact on here. You can add files, uh, send contacts, record a message. But the main thing I want to show you is that you can either do an audio call or video call them. So I'm going to click on the camera for the video call. From here, it is going to have my person here, which I have turned off the camera because I don't think you want to see two of me. Um, you can add another person to the call. You can change the layout of the call. You can also open a, a chat feature, open a conversation. You can share your screen. So if you have a presentation or a document or something on the browser that you want them to see, you can do that. You can do emojis by clicking on the heart there. And then these three dots for more options. You can record this conversation, take a picture, you can turn subtitles on, um, you can turn off the video, you can put the call on hold, and you can adjust the audio and video settings. Also over here, if you click on the hamburger menu, it's going to bring up the general menu. And then once you're done, you'll just click on the end call button. The last feature I kind of want to go over is Meet Now. This is kind of like Zoom or Google Meet. You can invite anyone, even if they don't have a Skype account, to join your call. You can copy and paste this link on Facebook or um, email it to people, text it to people, and they can easily join the the call or you can click on share invite and it gives you these different options as well. The next thing you can do is you can turn off your camera and audio and you can do start call to start the call. From here you can insert a call link for more people to join you if you've already started. You can still chat so everyone can have a conversation. Then you can click on more, you can take a snapshot, um, do audio video settings, you can change the layout. 
And if you click the hamburger meeting, it brings up or the menu, it brings up your general menu here. I'm going to go ahead and hang up this call. And those are the basic features and really what I wanted to show you on how to use the video chat settings on Skype. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.